everyone, Ray again. This is part five of the plywood bolt build. Today, we're gonna get started on the fiberglassing, but I can't do it here. It's about 50 degrees and I need to change uh, venues. We're gonna take this over to the big shop. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I've got a, <laughs> a big shop where I work that I have access to. I'm gonna take this over there, uh, control the temperature a little bit and start the fiberglass. I've got a little bit more sanding to do. As you can see, some of these dark patches. Um, I've already taken care of sanding the fillets. Everything looks good. It's just a little bit of sanding, and then we're taking it over to the shop and get started on the fiberglass. I like to uh, take a moment to mention some of the other boat builders on YouTube. If you are not familiar with, or you may be familiar with, uh, there's a couple of guys that I've been watching, uh, keeping an eye on what they're doing. It's very interesting work. Uh, one of which is, of course, Paul Elkins. Who else? Uh, he's made a lot of small one-man boats. The other guy that I've been watching quite closely is uh, Brian at American Bowhead. And I'll, I'll tell you what, he's got some beautiful little plywood boats, one-man boats, uh, that are very interesting. And then the last guy that I've been keeping an eye on is Andrew Jones. He has got a boat project that he is building. He's in the middle of designing it, and he is building it. Should have a few of them ready by uh, the summer of next year. I'm going to put links to each of their uh, YouTube channels and maybe some of their projects in the description of this video, so please do check it out. Uh, they're definitely worth watching. Here she is in the weld shop. This is just one of the buildings we've been doing the welding we need in the main shop. So I've got her back here to do the glassing. Uh, moving it, I realize there's a couple of small little spots I need to take care of. So I'm gonna go over it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna do any glassing today, but I'm gonna go over it and uh, one more time and I'll be doing the glassing tomorrow. Uh, the parts you haven't seen before is the work that I did on the transom. Here you can see everything is nicely rounded over. You can see here too, all ready and rounded um, and trued up, nice and smooth. So it's gonna be very close uh, tonight and then we'll come back tomorrow. You can see the fillets. There we are. And you can see that. So the glass should lay in there very, very nicely. And you can see the, uh, the radius along the edge. And while we're here, let's take a look at something. If you look at the angle, remember that's a one by 12. You can see how it's an angle. And you can follow the angle of the side and you can see how the side of the boat actually was bent and twisted. And as we get to the front, you can see it's completely vertical. So that was quite nice. Uh, it also introduced rocker. If you look at the chine line, you can see that it's the chine is higher in the middle than it is on the ends. So that twist actually introduced nice rock to it. I am really very excited about getting this thing in the water. Okay, just finished going over uh, the boat, sanding all those spots that I hit. Uh, I don't see anything else, but at this point, if there's any little uh, imperfection, I don't really care. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the time lapse because I'm going to lay out all this fiberglass and start with the resin. Um, I hope it goes well. If it doesn't, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a little too late. All right. All right, so what you saw was basically a disaster. I tried to wet out this uh, fabric. Uh, I got this fabric from eBay, and it was very clear when it arrived that it was Chinese origin. And it would not wet out. I, I poured the resin on there, tried to get it to soak. It would not wet out. I flipped the fabric over and put the epoxy on the bottom to get it, make sure I got a good bond, lay the fabric on top, 
and then wet at the top. You have to, this particular fabric, I don't ever want to use it again. Uh, but I, as you can see, I got about half the boat done, or, or a little bit better. Um, I've had a few spots where I've had to cut and create some overlaps. And on the bow, and you'll see that a bit in a bit, um, I've got it coming over and lapping over onto the other side. So when I lay this side, I'm going to do the same. Now, because I was struggling so much, I ended up cutting my fabric. Luckily, it was long enough. So I've got about a two inch or inch and a half to two inch overlap my, from my back fabric to my front fabric. So now that I got a handle on how to use this particular fabric, I think the rest of it is going to go a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and do this side and I'm going to let the fabric, uh, it's, it's right here. So I'm about three to four inches from my, my center straight. I think I'm going to lay the fabric over and let it um, uh, overlap so down the middle will be two layers thick and that's okay uh, because if you hit any bumps or any logs remember this is going to be a river boat We're probably going to hit a few things so the center one is probably going to get some abuse so having two layers of glass is probably good you uh, you saw bits and pieces you saw that side you saw some of this side and um, as you can see, I got it all on there. Uh, I didn't bother having all the time lapse in because it's honestly it's boring. It's a lot of the same stuff. So I've got one last section to do. That's this right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this unless you guys really want to see it, which honestly is just more of the same stuff. Um, and then we'll come back and take a look at what it looks like when it's done. All right, it's about two o'clock in the morning, and I just finished glassing the boat. Um, I know in part four I said that I was going to cover it with plastic um, and that was the plan but the fact is that the resin started setting up before I could get all the way around so I would not have had a chance. Now what you're looking at is pretty good. I mean it's wet right now. Uh, I, what I did is I, after I put the fiberglass on you can see all that after I put the fiberglass on, I went back and I did one more coat, um, a fill coat to fill the weave. And the results are pretty good. Uh, is it perfect? No. But uh, I'm glad, the, uh, I'm pretty impressed the way it came out. I think th that's going to work. Uh, you can see here, the whole thing is glassed. Uh, the, the front, the nose here has about three layers of glass and right here you can actually make it out it's a little bit uh, more opaque um, this rectangular area ended up with four layers of glass and the reason is uh, when I did the the back half and you can kind of make out the line right here and it's the same on the other side I went over one half and then went over with the other half so the center strake actually has two layers and then I had to do the same with the front. I needed to cut the fiberglass into two pieces. So you can kind of make out the line right here where the, uh, the two halves overlap. So right down the middle here, we got two layers. But right there, uh, because of all four layers, you end up with a ni very nice four layer thick section. Well, there you have it. The whole thing is glassed in. There are a couple of little imperfection and imperfections and bumps and some drips that I missed. Not too bad. That I'll have to come back and sand. I really wanted to have this in the water for you guys to see it at the end of this video, but time has uh, hasn't permitted me. I think I will have this in the water for a water a float test uh, this weekend. So next video, you should see this in the in the water. And I want to have an idea of where the water line is. I don't really know how she's going to sit. It's going to be very exciting. I really wanted to have it for you guys. I know you're probably as disappointed as I am in the fact that it's not in the water yet. But uh, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. You'll find links to Paul Elkins, uh, American Bullhead, and Andrew Jones in the description of this video. I do recommend you check them out. Very nice boats that they're all building. 
if you're into boats. If you're watching this one, you're probably into some boats. Thank you again.